Hi everyone, Michelle Markey with Medina Domestic Arts and another video. And today I want to talk about my secret weapon. Yes, I have a secret weapon when it comes to coloring on fabric. Many of my students know about my secret weapon, AKA the boo-boo pen. So I am now going to reveal to everyone out in YouTube land just exactly what is this secret weapon. And I wanna just point out first that this is a very common problem when people coloring on fabric. So is this. So what I'm going to show you next with the secret weapon is how you can fix both of these. Now there's a caveat. This is only going to work with white fabric, but never fear, your intrepid fabric painter person here will figure out how to do colored fabric in the future. But since most of you do tend to work on white fabric, I thought I would show you what this is. Now, some of us are of an age that we're going to remember what we used to use back in typing school whenever we made a mistake. Yep, you got it. White out. There you go. That's my secret weapon. Let me show you how this works. And frankly, both of these work just about the same. I'm gonna grab the Bic since the lid is already off, but this is the best secret that I've got in my repertoire to help fix what are commonly known as boo-boos are mistakes. So I'm just gonna come along here. Now, what you have to do is you kinda of have to press and dab all at the same time. Now look at that, look at that red disappear. And I wanted red because sometimes that's a very, very hard color to get rid of. There you go. Now, you can probably see it because it's still wet. If you give this about a half an hour, it will dry and it's barely discernible. In fact, I'm gonna come down here and show you right off the bat. And I think you have to look pretty close, but that is one I fixed earlier and it's completely dry. And as you can see, it's, it's very, very hard to discern. And by the way, I'm holding the phone about six inches up from this boo-boo. When you get it way back here, Voila, you can't see it, nor can you see the one I just corrected up on top of the hen's coxcomb. Now, let's talk about this kind of boo-boo right here because you can effectively do it. You can come in and, here, let me put the pin this way so you can see it. And, you know, you could squeeze it and you can go over it um, really, really well. Um, it, it, you can get, you know, get enough out um, I think at some point in time you have to make a judgment call as to whether or not you want to keep doing that or if you want to go to what I call the big guns, which is using white acrylic paint. Um, the class that I just taught last week, uh, one of the ladies accidentally put her hand in some paint and she ended up with a very large mistake. Let's just pretend either one of these are a mistake or this. And she needed to, you know, she was in a panic because she'd already colored the bulk of her, her item and she didn't want to ruin it or start all over. So again, this is just very easy. Let me open up. I'm just going to put a, a small dab and, and believe me, ladies and gentlemen, that's a small dab. That's as good as I can get coming out of there, which is fine. And then all I'm going to do is grab a paintbrush, dip it in there, um, and, and, and be generous. And let's do this one down here since it's a little smaller. And you're going to want to, to put a thin coat over it first. Uh, I, I, I think this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, you want to get it as smooth as possible. You also want to feather that out. And I will say that probably with some of this titanium white, you may have to go over it a couple of times with 
um, with the with the paint and then try to feather it out as best as possible, particularly when it's in the middle of the white area like this. Now, these are corrections simply for outside of your artwork. Um, doing it inside of your artwork uh, takes a little bit more of an effort. On occasion, you will actually get color in an area that is A, already colored, or B, will be colored with another color. In this particular case, the purple is obviously outside in this kind of a cream colored background area. And actually, if you look closer, you can see a tiny bit of blue and maybe even a red. I'm gonna be frank with you. Um, in this particular case, for, for all of these little mistakes, I'm not going to make any kind of correction. You could, however, find an opaque paint and try to match it as close to that background color. My experience has been is that most of the time you will only make the mistake look worse. So my suggestion is hold your work back 10 feet away from you and see if you can see this mistake. More than likely, it will become very unnoticeable and no one else will know it's there except for you. In this particular example, notice the bee. Some of the pale aqua paint actually bled into the bee. In fact, actually, there's a little bit of the O as well. Now, in the case of lettering, and I'm just going to pull this out so that you can see the entire work, the lettering is quite thin and small. So my suggestion is, particularly in working with one of these stamps, by the way, this is an embroidery library stamp. They have quite a number of them and they're very good for going on and, and coloring it as, as I have done on this one. Um, for, the, for the writing, for the letters, I'm actually going to use a fabric marker and I'm just going to come in and color over. And as you can see, it will take care of that um, for, for a couple of reasons. One, it's a very, it's black. It's obviously hiding the very pale color that was underneath. Now, the, of course, the, the, the issue that's going to come into play here is making sure that you don't get outside the line and into this very pale aqua color because once you do that, there is no correcting the mistake. Uh, let me repeat that. For a lot of these types of mistakes that you may make inside an already colored area, it's virtually impossible to fix the mistake. Now, you could go back over it with white acrylic paint and start all over, but it will not look as smooth and as finished as it is when it's originally done directly on the fabric itself. So again, my suggestion is when it's in an area that is to be colored, you cover it up with a dark color and frankly, be very careful when you're doing thin, small areas such as this to not get outside the lines.